Hello guys, Flashlight Enthusiast here. Today I would like to show you the Frunite TN36 Limited Edition. I have to admit that this is my first Frunite encounter and I'm really pleased with what this company has to offer, at least with this flashlight I guess. But I didn't recognize this brand until my friend told me about it and recognized and you know recommended uh, it to me and uh, turned my attention to it. He actually had this True Knight TN40S, I believe, and I was amazed with it, with its performance. So I, you know, tried my luck and pushed the the button and ordered the True Knight TN36 limited edition. This is actually a third edition of this flashlight with the same body and driver but different LEDs. Or maybe the driver even changed. I'm not really sure about this, but uh, about the LEDs, first it was Cree MKR, then Cree XHP70, and now uh, in 2020 we've got the Cree XHP70.2. Uh, Obviously, on their website you can see that it's Cree XHP70B, but it's just the same name for the second generation of Crees, which are well known for being one of the most powerful Cree LEDs on the market right now. So with no further ado, let's get started. Uh, this flashlight is very, very nice. But I will return to it later. Let's see what's what's uh, we've got here. We've got the nice plain True Night box. It's plain cardboard, you know, but it's well finished. Uh, it protects the flashlight very well. Uh, you can see the True Night logo and motto guiding you through the night. I really like this one. Uh, nothing fancy here. I've got the flashlight image here on the side. Uh, on the bottom side, nothing. And here you've got the model and uh, cool white and neutral white tint. What I like about True Night is they offer almost every flashlight in cool white and neutral white emitters, which is very nice for a flashlight enthusiast like me that they actually offer something like that. Obviously True Knight offers uh, the highest quality flashlights with excellent drivers, uh, but what I like really much is the, the choice that I can actually have by purchasing. Very nice True Knight, keep it up. Keep it up and let's see what we've got here in the box. It wasn't easy for me, you know, to get this flashlight because True Night Store only sells in the US territory so I had to you know, trick them that I live in the US so that I could import this flashlight to Europe. But I did it with the help and now I can truly enjoy their magnificent piece of work. Uh, what we've got here is the customer. Thank you letter from True Night themselves. Very nice in four languages, as you can see here. Nice addition. Uh, we've got the manual also in four languages. Two Asian languages, which I do not recognize. Sorry, guys, one of them is probably Chinese, the other maybe Japanese. Uh, and here we've got English manual and German manual. We will definitely focus on the English one. Uh, it's not very fast, I have to admit. So really straightforward and easy operation. Uh, it's not unduril, mind you, so <laughs> no two hours spent on figuring out how to operate your flashlight. Apart from that, we also get uh, the flashlight packed in this something, I don't know even how to call it, but it will protect your flashlight from scratching and then it will sit in this holster which is very high quality, I have to say. Uh, you've got the Velcro here, so you can put your belt through this loop or this fixed loop. Uh, we've got the D-ring, standard, standard, standard holster. Uh, reminds me of like Phoenix or, or Nightcore or Olay brand, uh, which is premium plus flashlight, very nice. Uh, flashlight sits firmly in here, so it looks like the the holster was specially designed for it, not not uh, taken from other uh, you know model and incorporated in this one, but special design. Uh, Velcro here is pretty strong, so I wouldn't fear that flashlight would you know 
uh, fall from your bed or something and it actually is protected even from the downside here so definitely well designed holster uh, apart from that we get some lanyard spare o-rings spare button cover and some metal ring I'm not sure what to use it for but it is there all right so let's just put everything inside the box again and focus on the manual and the flashlight which is probably the main character of this review all right so let's look here what we've got mm. all right so basically we have only five modes no guys no 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 we've got turbo of 11,000 lumens for the cool white note that with my neutral white version it won't be like 11,000 lumens it will be more like 10,000 and 500 lumens because neutral white LEDs usually have lower efficiency um, but it's okay it's okay as, as long as the tint is good uh, I don't care really uh, then we've got infinity high which is 8,000 lumens for 90 minutes no step down oh well then infinity low 96 lumens for 2.6 days and firefly 3 lumens for 28 days and obviously we've got the strobe for 90 minutes also with 8000 lumens so it looks like the strobe mode is very similar to the infinity high what does infinity high and infinity low means is that guys you've got the ramping here so infinity in true night language means stepless dimming or ramping mode like in Unreal. Uh, although it's not that perfect on in as in Unreal, but it works wonders here. So you've got uh, some pretty good amount of modes between 96 and 8,000 lumens in a logarithmic scale. So unfortunately, you can see the steps going with your naked eye and probably on the camera, but let's just go to the firefly first so you hold the button to go to the fireflies from off and then as you can see you've got this free lumens for 28 days very nice white beam then you can either yes so as you can see you can either turn off the flashlight and turn it on again Firefly won't be memorized, so it will go to the last memorized level in this ramp, infinity high, infinity low. Uh, or you can, from Firefly, hold the side switch and go into the main level sections. Alright, so as you can see here, as you press and hold the button, you will go up. And as you can see, alright, let's go up, as you can see here on the camera, uh, you actually can notice the you can actually notice the steps so the ramp is a little bit visible but I guess it's okay the main reason I don't like this one is that it will blink at the top at and the bottom of the ramp it will blink three times with 8000 lumens right into your eyes and then it will go down Again, at the bottom of the ramp, it will blink, blink three times and then go up. As long as you're holding your side switch, it will cycle, alright? And obviously, from on or off position, when you double tap, ouch! You go to turbo mode with 11,000 lumens, guys, it's almost as bright as I cannot look in the camera no more. Ow! That's alright. Let's go to the lowest setting. Yes, this blinking annoys me really. For night, if you're watching this, please, please, please repair it. I mean, this blinking should be more discreet, like in. Probably you, you are familiar with Unreal, so you know that this blinking at the top of ramp, at the bottom of the ramp, is very good. It helps you notice that you reach the, the highest settings. 
but it shouldn't be so disturbing it's almost like turning on the strobe at the top of the ramp especially but that's okay as you notice here when you turn on the flashlight you've got this blue indicator which will tell you that the battery uh, is sufficient uh, I believe it is between 4.2 volts and 3.3 volts probably uh, but Trunite does not state it I believe uh, when the battery voltage is going low it will either turn solid green or when it's critical it will blink red right to notify that you should exchange or uh, recharge your batteries uh, the funny thing is that this flashlight has an excellent driver and it will actually drain all the juice from the battery and sustain the highest amount of brightness it will allow you thermically let's see what the battery compartment looks like so actually it's unscrews only between the head and the handle the contacts are very wide as you can see we've got one contact silver and one gold with heavy spring under the gold one very high spring for heavy load very nice the head is heavy I have to say that the head is heavy what we've got here is the battery holder for 4 18650 battery I use the button top Samsung 30 Qs uh, which I would recommend using some longer cells because when you use you can actually use the normal flat top batteries because the battery carriers you can see uh, have protruded flat contact here on every and every single uh, contact so actually in theory you can use flat top batteries without any problem but the crucial thing is the length of the cell because when in shock you know you drop the flashlight or you hit something it shorter cells may actually lose contact so bear this in mind I had this problem with normal 30 Qs uh, without any button top that they actually lost contact when I hit the flashlight uh, from the tail uh, this one's actually display similar problem but the, the probability is, is, is much lower and the frequency also uh, this battery carrier is symmetrical, so no matter how you insert it to the flashlight, it, it won't matter. The battery tube is actually just a tube of metal, nothing inside here. So it's just to accommodate the battery pack and give you something to hold when the flashlight gets hot. Right, let's insert the battery pack. Some reviewers reported that the, the threads on this true night might get some problem, you know, when you screw it up all the way down, uh, that it will actually get stuck and you cannot unscrew it. In my uh, experience, I didn't uh, actually notice anything like that, so true night might get uh, improved that. Let's see the reflectors and this beautiful Cree XHP 70.2 LEDs in neutral white, which is around uh 5000k um in my experience it is even a little bit lower like 470 4700 i mean 4700k it's it's something like that so as you can see the leds are perfectly centered the reflectors are orange peel and shallow pretty small reflectors but as you can see the head won't allow uh, maybe a little bit larger but again the reflectors are perfect uh, and look at this beautiful finish around the reflectors this polished metal almost chrome mm. very nice so let's face it this flashlight might not be the prettiest one I have ever seen the closest competitor I had in my hands was Olight X7R and design wise I think the Olight has some decent advantage but you know what 
if you buy the flashlight for its design, it's not the channel you might looking for. Because this flashlight has some superb feature that most manufacturers miss. And that is the driver. The driver inside this beauty is magnificent. It is basically the driver that will sustain the crazy amount of light in such a small package. You know, this flashlight is not big. Look at my hands. I, I don't have very large hands and this flashlight easily gets inside. Let me show you the BLFQ8 you are probably familiar with. So this is the BLFQ8. So as you can see, the TN-36 is even smaller than the BLFQ8. Yeah, it's almost almost the same size. Yeah, I can easily say that's uh, the, the size of BLFQ8, almost identical dimensions, right? So, you know, this this flashlight is producing 500, 5,000 lumens, right? And this flashlight, this TrueLight TN-36, is an 11,000 lumen flashlight with crazy sustainability. Alright guys, as you can see on the chart here, I run it on the infinity high setting, which is 8000 lumens, and as you can see for the first 15 minutes, 15 minutes I repeat, this flashlight only dropped to 7000 lumens. So I can easily say that you have 7000 lumens for the first 15 minutes. Usually, such flashlights will drop from turbo or the, the highest brightness after from 1 to maybe 3 to 5 minutes uh, and they will drop to like 30 or 20% of their initial power while this true night is actually capable of sustaining this crazy amount of light even for 15 minutes and then because of thermal uh, capabilities it actually had to step down because the flashlight will overheat but it stepped down to 50% of initial brightness which is amazing it's simply amazing guys what this flashlight is capable of it is the new king of sustainability in this kind of pocketable pop size can flashlights wow look at this after 15 minutes of 7000 lumens this flashlight dropped to about 5000 lumens and ran for almost an hour dropping another 1000 lumens over an hour and then as you can see on the chart it simply turned off because the flashlight driver on this TrueLight TN36 Limited is very special it will sustain the highest amount of brightness as long as there's any juice left in the batteries and even if their batteries are completely depleted and let's say they are 2.86 volts which I tested I were still able to turn on the flashlight in all the modes including turbo for a couple of seconds before it stepped down to the lowest setting indicating with this flashing red LED under the switch that I should probably consider replacing them. Guys, this flashlight is miraculous. It's really amazing and awesome. And I'm really happy that I listened to a friend and purchase it. Wow! What is the secret for such an efficiency and sustainability? Well, there are three things. First of all, it's the form factor and the sheer mass of aluminium of the head. This flashlight simply has the mass to dissipate the heat. Second thing is the driver and its design to sustain the brightness and boost the current. Right? And the third thing is that True Knight actually went especially high with their thermal settings because usually the flashlights will have like 60 degrees Celsius when they start to drop because of you know do not not to hurt your hands because above 60 degrees you will actually not able to hold the flashlights with your bare hands but this true light is actually increased the 
thermal sensor to 80 degrees Celsius. So when I run this test, the, the chart I showed you here on the screen, the flashlight actually achieved 65 degrees for almost the, the, the whole duration of the test. So it was a bit too much to hold with your bare hands, but with gloves you can with without any problem hold it when you're you know in a chilled winter day in the forest wearing gloves this flashlight won't hurt your hands and it will sustain a crazy amount of, of light uh, so these are the three factors why true light is so special uh, and let's see how it actually operates uh, so you know the ui but now let's see how this flashlight and uh, the, the beam pattern simply put all right uh, so maybe let's turn it on on the lowest setting, 96 lumens. Uh, so as you can see, we've got the fairly tight hotspot and the crazy wide spill. Obviously, it is triangle because we've got the fairly shallow reflectors and triple uh, LEDs. So yeah, it will appear triangle, but only up close uh, to the surface. But in the real life, when you're walking in the woods, you won't notice the triangle beam profile. You, what you will notice is that you will have a crazy wide beam area and you will simply see everything in front of you and on the side, on the left, on the right and because of the power and the tight hotspot this flashlight, even if it is extreme floody, uh, it will shine for over 300 meters. So it's, you know, the, the excellent design of the reflector that actually True Knight managed to have such concentrated spot even in such shallow reflectors. Look at these guys. So yeah, this this will definitely create the wall of light effect. You will see everything in front of you uh, in the nearest 100 meters, but you will also have some range on it. All right. So let's go to the forest. I will show you how it works. In nature. Here I am with my True Knight DN36 limited edition in the woods. Blue indicator under the switch and the lowest setting on the bottom of the ramp. It is 96 lumens. I can see everything in the radius of like 10 meters. Let's bump it up. Eight thousand lumens. We've got the blink, pretty annoying blink. I can see literally everything. Look at the spill. How wide this is! I'm not moving my flashlight. Lens popping up the turbo. Boom! Yeah! That's it, baby. That's it. Oh my god. This thing is amazing. Wow. I have to admit the tint is slightly greenish. But look at that hotspot. It covers all the road. Reaches out the trees over there. And I still have plenty of light on the side so that I don't have to move the flashlight from the center to see everything on the side. And I don't feel the heat building up here. Really nothing. Maybe just a little bit. Wow. Amazing flashlight, guys. Really amazing. Just kidding guys, it's not dropping from turbo mode, I just decreased the brightness. Alright guys, let's sum it up. I really enjoyed using this flashlight and wow, I'm really disappointed that I didn't know about Frunite uh, years ago. Alright? Uh, I can definitely recommend this flashlight for everybody. Uh, as you could see in the video, the tint is a little bit greenish, but 
because of this crazy sustainability I can really survive that. If you'd like to buy this flashlight I actually missed the discount code but you can use it from now which is 23rd of November to 23rd of December 2020 Thrunite on their official site thrunite.com offers a 20% discount code which you can use for every product simply put the code 2020 in your cart and you will get the 20% discount on every product so if you'd like to buy this flashlight from there uh, you can definitely use that code and it will lower the price which I paid for this flashlight was $140 which is extremely respectable price for such a gem that True Knight offers. So guys if you like the video please leave a comment, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button because the more videos are coming. Uh, as always guys stay safe, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.